I guess it's put in a hold on a great deal. I'm actually due to semi-retire in a couple of months and I guess I had so many plans for the coming year but when this came along uh, just a couple of months ago it just seemed to me like uh, my life was just put on hold. Once I get to about here it's starting to get quite tight there. I'm struggling to move above this level uh, but in terms of behind my back again it's really tight from there. He's got some thickening of this uh, uh, coracochromial ligament, uh, which is quite common with this condition. Surgically, they'll perforate it, but I'm gonna actually do some very heavy uh, soft tissue work on it once I open up the capsule to try and loosen up that ligament. That's gonna be important that, that that gets loosened up in order for him to be able to reach behind his back as well, which is a position that um, it's quite difficult for patients, even after I've opened up the actual capsule. If it was 10 grades, you'd be at least a grade 9. Right. Effectively, I had a cortisone injection. The first cortisone shot he had didn't really do anything for him. Told that I must go away and come back in a few months' time to see him again, which in a way is a little disappointing because you go away knowing you have the problem. Love for his hand, please. The most wobbliest. <laughs> When I went to see them, my physio he was a really great guy and he was the person who said, I just don't want to touch you. I give so much credit to a physiotherapy who actually says that and acknowledges the reality of the situation, has done his own homework and in enough honesty, then I experienced to know that he's not going to be able to help you or potentially could make it worse, which he even told you, because that's what the statistics show, that's what the studies show. Uh, people said to me about coming here, how do you feel about going to a country you've never been to to meet somebody you've never met or spoken with? And I said to them, I'm going with an open mind, but I'm going with a positive attitude. Because even though I looked on uh, the internet and read almost every word on your website, when I turn up and Dr. Olo is there, then that's the first step I take. And so that's how I've probably been over the last few days is just building the steps and so for others I would say have the open mind come and experience and then you see the results and for me to be able to put my arms up like this I really don't need to say too much because yesterday this arm would only go to about there